Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to discuss the NRLCX library in a lexicon based method for detecting emotion. Before we start, we are using Google Crab. I'm gonna leave this code in the description, in GitHub of course. And uh, I want to tell you that NRLC stands for National Research Council Canada, which this the place that made the, the library. Starting with installing, of course, the library using pip install. And then I'm gonna use these libraries, named by Bandas, of course, NRLCX and NLTK. I'm gonna need also stopboards. So I'm gonna show you the effective stopboard on the detection of emotion and plot it to display the emotions that we get. We are going to install banquet and stopboards from NLTK. And I'm gonna here just run a simple sentence, this simple tutorial, and I got tutorial because it's simple, and pass it to NRLCX. And we're gonna tell it, give me the word that you detect and the affected deck, basically the emotion. Here it gives us the word. Okay. That's good. Then it's the basic detected emotion here is good. Uh, that is a very good. I'm wrote, I wrote here. It's a good uh, tutorial. So it detected good. So anticipation, joy, positive surprise, trust. It's all positive. There is not, there is, there is nothing negative here, but this is just one sentence. So. Let's run it to a, a couple of sentences. I wrote this here about family, about how supportive family can be and help you to grow and share moment together. And I pass it through to NRCX and got also the same emotion. Let's see here. We have a grateful, blessed, loving. This is the positive word that it detected. Personal trust to grow. And here I tell it, give me the raw emotion scores. Basically, I am tell it how much word, uh, how many words that is positive or negative give me the number. And it detected seven positive, three joy, three trust, and one negative, two anticipation, one fear. It's, it's decent. It can, I think, in our CX will run well with, um, I think web app or web site in the back end. Here, let's tell it, give us the top emotion. The top emotions here we have is positive because I am talking all positive stuff about how supportive the family and love they can be. Then the frequency of emotion, if effect frequency, this is how you get the emotion. And we get all the emotion here, the percentage of it. I'm going to show you how to display this down below on a buy and a bar. So you can visualize it. It will be better when visualized. The, until now, it's very simple. There is nothing difficult here. Okay. But let's work with a data set. I have this restaurant review data set that I got from Kegel and I'm going to just show it to you. We have here. Wow. I love this place. It's true. It's like it, but here cars not good. It's, it didn't like it. So let's apply this top emotion to the review column here for each row and give it to us. And this is what we get. For some reason, it didn't detect loved. I don't know why, because as I told you, sometimes NRCLX doesn't recognize some words. It didn't got trained on. This is some of its limitation. But here it kept giving us the negative and positive and trust. And here I did something different. I did function that uh, will remove all stop words that stop words as basically the frequently used word in sentence like and is in of it and so on. And here I used the NLTQ or stop words to remove it from the text and clean it and return it in a new column called emotion and put it in a data frame. I want to tell you what will happen. The emotion here and here is the same, but here crust is not good it's negative here crust is good so it's switched so you have to be careful using stop boards i think you shouldn't use it uh, sometimes using an rlc x because it will switch the emotion here from negative to positive so be aware of this part and i used here nlt uh, stop board in english because the entire data set is english and I just cleaned the text and returned it and put it in a new column for each row. 
but this is just a test so i can display i wanted to display that emotion can change if you remove the stop bars from a text here right now we're going to use our data set that we got uh, up here to create a new data set using nrcx but this data set is just the frequency of emotion here i'm using banda I'm creating data frame from a dictionary and this dict will basically be the emotion frequency here. I'm getting it from the emotion data frame that I created and we're going to use it as a new index sorted by descending and the highest one will be the first one. We have new column in emotion and frequency and here I'm displaying. I know sometime number can honestly be bad in displaying the um, emotion so i'm gonna use by down there to display the positive and negative emotion how frequency it is but let's get back and see the emotion that we get the first one is positive second one is joy trust until it get to fear here i'm gonna use px as the plotting that i imported in top I'm gonna pass it the I'm gonna pass it the deck that we created and we have the value of frequency and the name is emotion. I'm gonna give it you can give it any title and when we have our I want it to give me the emotion uh, frequency. And inside inside when here it's gonna give us the percent and the label, which is 16% for joy, 23 for positive. And here it is. I love to visualize this kind of data if you work in a company visualize is the best you can just get the raw data display it everyone will understand it here we have the positive is the biggest part joy is in trust and anticipation i also did a bar uh, to display the emotion here using also bx i got the x axis and the y axis of frequency color and some colors and give it a title and also here's the frequency uh, uh sorry here i added the percentage of each emotion on top of it and uh, it's very simple uh most of is the biggest one as you can see and the least one is fear and the last thing that i want to talk about is the limitation of this library in rclx Keep in mind it has some limitation, it doesn't have negation very well and the word that didn't train on or think of it as a dictionary, if this dictionary know this word it will not recognize it, it's a limitation of training. And finally, if you don't use it, you will lose it. I'm gonna leave you exercise and I want you first to read all this code and then solve this exercise using a dataset I will leave you in GitHub. Reboot and thank you for watching. See you in the next video.